And congratulations. Thank the you. Raiders. Yeah. Thank so you. now that the deal is done, what, tell, take us through the process. When did you know the Raiders were actually the team that was going to select? They had told us about a half hour before the draft that if he was there, they would be his, would they, they would be selecting him. <laughs> um, you know, then once they were on the clock, they called me, you know, just those last minute questions, trying to get the agent to agree to certain things, you know, talk about certain things. Then Coach Kiffin called him and, you know, then we hung up. Then we had to wait about three or four minutes till they handed in the pick and then they did. And he was a Raider. How do you feel? The next steps, I know we talked the other time, you said you never had a guy that missed a camp. Correct. The company get the deal done with the Raiders. Well, that's what they wanted to know. And I told them the same thing. So I'll be talking to you. Hey Darren, how does it feel to be a Raider? When was the last time you talked with him? When you hit, when you go to Oakland? Um, I think um, my agent and um, the uh, Raiders, uh, Raiders coaches got me on the side on there. They had me on the side on the side. But now, Darren, yesterday you said you'd be happy to your Jet, too. Yeah. Yeah. If I would have been in New York, I would have been very happy to be here, you know, but Oakland decided to go ahead and grab me. I'm very happy to be there. Is there any disappointments that the Jets just trade up? No, um, it's not disappointing to me. Um, wherever I go in the draft, I'm going to be happy. I'm mean, going number four. It, it's a great feeling to me, so it's not even disappointing to me. Darren, what were, what were your emotions like kind of uh, before before you heard your name called? Um, you know, it was just very nervous. Your heart beating a thousand miles an hour, man. It's just something you can't even explain in the words, but it's a great feeling to hear your name called. We know you got a fresh start. They're going to haze you now. You looking forward to that? <laughs> That's probably something I'm not looking too forward to, man. No one has a rookie, you gotta deal with it. Um, I the, the time I talk to the Raiders coaches, they they tell me if they miss another playmaker from their offense, and that's something that I feel like I can add to the offense, might be playability. Have you spoken to Mr. Davis yet? Yes, sir. I got a chance to meet him when I went out to open on my building. He's a great guy. I love talking with him, and he's very sharp. When I woke up in the morning, it was just like, I still was up for grabs and I cut. I didn't know where I was going to go. I heard a lot of talk about New York. Then, you know, the uh, don't drop in and say open, so I felt like I was going to go between New York and Oakland. When did you officially know it was going to be the Raiders? Oh, they gave me a call not too long before the pick came in. They gave me a call. You know, it just all smells for me after that. Darren, uh, o you know, Oakland Raider fans are kind of known for being intense and crazy, and you're kind of a guy that, you know, likes to do some things. How do you think you kind of fit in there? I think I fit in great well. You know, they like the SEC fans and the Arkansas fans. You know, we have fans that are very wild in Arkansas, and it's something that I'm going to enjoy a whole lot. Does that mean you got to jump into the black hole when you score a touchdown? <laughs> no, I don't think I'll do that. I'm just continue what I've been doing, toss the ball to the ref from here to the sideline. There's a big guy, Raider Rob. He's actually going to be calling for you. Watch out for him. Sir. His name is Raider Rob. He's going to be calling for you to jump in with his watch out for him. Hey, I, I'm watch out for him. Stay away from the black hole. <laughs> Darren, what are you going to spend your first paycheck on? Sir. What are you going to spend your first uh, dollars on? You know, I'm going to take care of my family. I'm going to buy my mom and I'm going to buy my dad's house. You know, just take care of them and make them happy. Yeah, we'll run it. Put money back. Um, I can't just say I, I compare myself to any certain running back. You know, I feel like I have a different style of running. You know, a guy like Aiden Peterson, people can just compare us physically, but I don't think we have the same running, but he's probably like a run the ball a lot more physical than I do. I feel like I had a chance. I, I, I feel like I can do it every day I'm back. So it's not a certain one that I have. Darren, what do you have to say to your new fans in the Bay Area? <laughs> just tell them, go away to Nation. I'm very happy to be there. Um, you know, it was a long, grueling process. It's something that you really get out the way. You have to go through all the scrutiny. It's something that you really be done with. And, um, I'm just very happy that it's over now. What number do you want? Jersey number. Uh, it's a number I haven't decided. I don't know the wrong. You know, I was a senior digit guy in college, so I have to pick a new number. I don't know what I want to get yet. Well, 25. <laughs> hey, if I wear 25, then I won't be balanced. <laughs> Darren, you know you have the 501 boy, Oakland's 510. Any plans to ch kind of change up that tattoo? Oh, no, nah, not at all. I just do that 501 because that's where I'm from. I'm always representing Arkansas.
Eric, you mentioned Jamar. You think you and he could be the two guys that the Raiders kind of build their resurgence on to get back to the mission that they had? Yeah, with two young guys in their own backfield, like a guy like Jamarcus Russell and me, you know, it, it'll be a great thing right there. Both of us coming out of the SEC, we played against hard physical teams, and it's something that, you know, you want to carry it over to the NFL, so I feel like we can get a great assist for them. Are you also concerned there's a lot of pressure? Your head coach's job hangs by a thread, so you feel you and Jamarcus have better produce and produce big early on to save this man's job? Um, no, uh, there's a lot of pressure. There's always going to be a lot of pressure, but I don't feel like no one can put more pressure on me than I put on myself. So it's something that I won't be bothered with. You visited the Coliseum field. Do you know how it's laid out for baseball versus football? Are you ready to deal with uh, the unevenness and everything with your cleats and all that? Yeah, I guess it's something I'm going to have to get used to real quick. I haven't ever been there and got a chance to walk the field and thing, but it's something I'm sure I can adjust to real quick. I help you send a message to the A's to straighten out the field for preseason. That's the idea. <laughs> hey, that's on them. They want to play the field like that. They take it how they want to. <laughs> Darren, what about catching passes out of the backfield? Are you ready to do that in the NFL? Yeah, this is something I'm going to do more than in college, but in the NFL, I think I'm going to be doing a lot more of that. And I feel like I have a great hand, so it's just something I'm looking forward to. Derek, you're going to be moving with your sister. Is she planning to take care of some of the finances for you? She's just going to help me out and run the house. You know, being that far away from home, she's going to help me out in whatever way she can. Darren, how glad are you getting this process over with? I'm um, very happy for it to be over with. Like I said, it's been a, a long, grueling process. It's something that you're ready to get somewhere and just play football. A lot of the Raiders fans uh, want you to be their back uh, in terms of that division. They ain't needed all those other great backs out there. Do you afford that competition? I'm looking very forward to it. Um, I know the SEC is a lot of competition in the SEC, so that's something I'm going to be looking forward to. Are you going to go and finish your degree in kinesiology during the offseason? Um, whenever I get a chance to go back and finish my degree, I'm going to do it. Yes, sir. I've been out there several times. I've been in LA a few times, and then went out to Oakland um, for a visit. Hey, how has all this changed your? <laughs> it's gonna have to get to be home real soon. Hey, how has all this changed your relationships? Because there's some people that you think you can trust, you find you can't trust. Give us a kind of an idea of what's been like along the way. You know. For me, I surround myself with a lot of positive people, you know, people that does not give me and want me, you know, I just surround myself with a lot of family members and a lot of close friends that I know they're going to be there for me. Two more, two more questions. Darren, you said that. have to uh, play the Chiefs twice a year, and I believe, I don't know, I haven't I've been doing my best to pay attention to the clock, but I believe they uh, selected Derek Harvey. So I know that's a guy that you're familiar with. You're looking forward to going against him. All right. I think um, the Chiefs, I think they won with Glenn Dorsey, didn't they? Did they? they? Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, I haven't been paying attention. It's hard. <laughs> I've been playing against that guy for but, a year. But you're familiar with Dorsey as well, so <laughs> what do you think about going up against Dorsey twice a year? I've been playing against him for three years, you know, it's something I've been getting used to doing, you know, it's just going to add more to it playing against him two times a year. Darren, you spent a lot of time with the Jets over the last two weeks. Any disappointment at all that they weren't the team they got a shot? Um, for me, there, there's no disappointment. Wherever I was going to go, I was going to be happy to get there. Um, I was just sitting back and waiting because, you know, it's the draft. You never know what's going to happen until they call your name.